Hey guys, this is JP from All Ten Gizmo, and I'm here to do a quick review of the HTC One Max from Verizon. And uh, I'm not gonna do a long review because the HTC One Max and the HTC One is the same phone, except it's wide, it's longer. I uh, know the HTC One Max is about it's 5.9 inches, and the HTC One it's about 4.7 inches. Now it's the same style, same body style, same everything. Let me take my case off. Uh, everything is the same, you know. The only difference is you got the higher blaster up front, the power button is not there no more, and uh, also you definitely have a fingerprint scanning that I'm really enjoying every second of it. Uh, your power button is right here, and your volume button, and then your charging point is charging port is here. Now, at first, I was like, God, that was weird to put the power button right here. Why can't they put the power button off on top? But when you're holding the phone, you really want the power button that over here on the side. If I'm not mistaken, I saw the same thing also with the Sony Ultra Z. Uh, the power button is on the side also. And one thing I love about this HTC One Max is you can open the back. Uh, there's a, something over here to open it. You just slide it down. One second. All right. You open it. When you open it, your micro SD card is there, your SIM card is there, but the battery is not removable. It's definitely not removable. And all your information, your MEID and everything is here. Uh, you know, you can take the back off or whatever, do whatever you wanna do. Put it back on, no problem. Uh, the battery is about 3200 million, and uh, the battery is great on that phone. Uh, I mean, today alone, I was killing that phone. When I tell you I was killing it, let me see. I'm at 40%. I'm at 40%. Let me see. One second. I want to see how, far, how much battery I've used today, what I've been using, what I've been doing. Power. 40%, 6 hours. You guys probably saying 6 and a half hours, 40%. That's not a... That's not a lot, but listen, I've been on that phone like there's no tomorrow. Like literally, I've watched uh, at least two or three movies. I've been on YouTube, a few phone calls, and my movies that I watch, I download the movies from YouTube and from the phone. So that's why they assure you I've been killing the battery and I'm still at 40%. So, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all for the for the HTC One Max. And I sent my movie to my SD card after that, I transferred them to, S to the SD card. Uh, if you have the HTC One, the only big different fingerprint since uh, five uh, since five point five. Now you have more option with uh, black fade, and also there's a way to turn it off. Uh, let me go to the home screen somewhere. One second. Let me move one of those. You press and hold. There's the option right there. It's giving you the option. I'm not, not sure if you guys can read it. It's too blurry for me. Well, believe me, there's an option for you to turn off. You say blank feed on. I can say blank feed off. Nice off. I don't have it. And if I go back, blank feed on. It's back on. It's loading. Uh, with sense, and then also the HTC One Max come with uh, Android 4.3. Yep, Android 4.4.3 since 5.5. Uh, I I was using the Galaxy Note 3. Speed wise, I don't see I don't I don't see any different. Everything is still the same speed wise. I mean, it's, everything is the same. I have no hiccup, no lags, nothing whatsoever. Everything is the same. Now, a lot of people say, oh, the Galaxy have a better processor. Yes, it did. Yes, but Samsung put too much stuff on the Galaxy. You don't see the difference of the processor. And I really like this phone, and I'm thinking about keeping this phone right now for as my daily driver for a while now because I'm a big fan of HTC. I'm a huge fan of HTC, and I never would keep any HTC phones because of the batteries. And that 3,200 million batteries they have on this phone, it's ridiculous. And that's why I'm going to keep it. The only negative thing I would say about this phone is the heaviness and the camera. The phone is heavy. I'm telling you, the phone is just heavy. So that's the main reason that I will not 
that's the only, that's one of the thing I don't like I do not like about it and the camera I'm not happy at all with the quality of the camera uh, let me see if I can take a picture for you guys uh, yeah it's and uh I don't know, it's just there's something about the picture, the quality of the picture, I'm not happy. And low light, it does take some good picture, but other than that, I'm not happy at all of the camera at all. Uh, I'm not sure if I have any other picture I can show and take for you guys. And I, I'm really not happy with the camera at all, at all, at all. Yeah, as you guys can see, not happy at all of the camera. And uh, I really... I don't know. Uh, the Formiga Ultra Pixel thing is not something I'm too crazy about. So, we shall see what they're going to do. Maybe a software upgrade will fix that. But again, the boom sound is ridiculous on that phone. I love it. And I love watching movies to it. Uh, let me see if I have a movie I can put on for you guys. Because uh, I just downloaded a few movies to the phone. That's something I love about. Uh, I love about Enjoy. Oh, wait, don't sorry. Oh, wait, let me go to YouTube because some of the movies I don't get in trouble for playing them on YouTube. Let me just go to YouTube for you guys. Uh, I'm getting a not notification. Oh, let me put my Bluetooth on. Off, oh, I mean, I'm it's playing in my room right now. All right, hopefully. Hmm. Now all of a sudden I'm not getting sound. Did I put my volume down? Okay. I'm telling you, boom sound, it's ridiculous. I love it. I enjoy every second of it. So and you guys all know the AMD fanboy song was actually yeah, a I'm huge I'm telling you, I love boom sound. And I can't wait to get the, it's called the Boom Bass, that little speakers. I can't wait to get that. And uh, I love the phone. I don't know what else to say. I'm a big fan of the HTC. I love the HTC One. If you love the HTC One, you definitely need to get the HTC One Max. Again, I, I'm saying this is a man phone because that phone is big. If you're a female, if you have small hair, you, might have, you, might, you may have a hard time with it. But that phone is ridiculous. I love it. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, everything is perfect about it. Uh, the fingerprint scanning is, is uh, you can just set it up from here. Let me just show you real quick how to scan one. Fingerprint scanning. You just, I'm just gonna do one of, any one of my fingers. Oh, now I have to do this, the first one first. So of course, okay, they give you the option to, because I already have one. I have two actually. And so I'm gonna add one. It's gonna ask you to do it three times. Continue, which finger? Okay, I'm gonna tell him it's this one, okay, it doesn't matter. So you swipe your finger once, two, three, four, and that's it. Now it's gonna actually, you can say continue. Do we wanna use this for a specific app? Let me just say, okay, I wanna use it for camera, apply. So let me turn off the phone. Oops, I almost dropped my phone. Press the power button, slice my finger. Yep, and the camera is open. I don't care about that. I mean, I use my uh, my finger to unlock the phone. I don't care much about it. Some people will like it. I Me, mean, it's kind of annoying to have. To, I don't know. I just don't care much about it to do that. I just like it. Just don't like my phone. And so putting finger, and so putting a passcode or pattern. I just clip, and that's it. I don't like my phone. Uh, again, that was JP from All Tank Gizmo. That was a quick review about. Well, not quick. It's a long review about the uh, HTC One Max. Great battery, great phone. I'm not crazy about the camera, and uh, to me, I feel like the camera could have been better. Again, that was JP, guys. Until then, bless up.